Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. Yes, welcome to part two of this vampire occult type of like castle. Now, oh my god, okay, girl, I got a lot to tell you. We have to... I, I have to tell you something, something that happened to me at work. So, you know, in the first part, I was telling you guys about all this stuff that was going on in my work, girls being shady, everything, like, lies being told left, right, and center, and then <laughs> the other day, I was at work, and I was like, oh my god, okay, so... Your girl was already having a day, okay? She was having a day, but it's okay. Everybody has days. And um, so I was at work, and this lady wanted this shoe. Now, this shoe was cute. Like, it had, like, a nice, like, thin heel. It had some spikes on it. Like, look, it looked cool, okay? And she gave it to me, and I thought she, had, like, had a hold on it, right? And I came into work that day with, like, wearing my sandals that I got from that like shoe store because they want you to wear shoes from that shoe store okay and so she gave me this shoe she accidentally dropped it because she thought that I grabbed it but I also thought that she had it so none of us <laughs> none of us had it and so she dropped it it fell like on my foot now girl like I'm just gonna keep it very blunt because when I told my boyfriend, he was like, oh, oh, stop. <laughs> He's like at, at work, like all curled up in his chair, like his hands by his head, like, oh, stop it. Don't tell me anymore. But so I'm just gonna keep it really blunt. You can skip the part if you don't want to. Um, but I'm just gonna say my foot looked like a murder scene. That's it. I'm just gonna say it. Um, the shoe fell on a right spot on my, on my foot and it like went through my foot <laughs> kind of and it, my shoe like I didn't even realize like I knew it hurt oh sorry that was my water bottle <laughs> drink water kids <laughs> um why would I say that okay anyway <laughs> but yes to drink your water I I drink like six water bottles a day it's it's crazy anyway um so I didn't even feel it at first and I was just like, ow, like that hurt. Like I didn't even feel any blood. Like I was just like, I just wanted to get back to work. And the lady that I was helping who dropped said shoe, she looks down, she goes, um, are you okay? And I was like, what do you mean? And I looked down and again, like my shoe, my sandal was just filled with it. Like it looked like a murder scene. And I was like, oh, um, and she's like, oh my God, don't even worry about it. She's like, I can come back another day. If you want to go take care of that, you can go like take care of that. And I was like, oh, oh yeah, maybe I should. Um, thanks. So I walk into the back. I'm like limping over to the back because now it's starting to hurt. And I go to my friend and I was like, um, so, uh, do you mind just like going in the front for a little bit? And she looks down and she goes, oh my God, Jamie, go sit <laughs> go sit down and she is like the mom of the group I swear to god but like she was like go sit down she's like don't even if I if I see you walking I'm gonna beat you up sit down and I was like okay because I'm also like a very um I'm also a very like stubborn person so even if I get like hurt I'm like no I'm good like leave me alone <laughs> um but she was like sit down I'm gonna beat you up I'm like I'm not really feeling like you know, fighting anyone today, so I'll do what you say. So I go over, I like sit down in our bathroom and I'm just like cleaning it all up and I'm just like, really? Because it's funny because not even like 10 minutes before, my friend and I were joking about getting hurt and then, <laughs> and then suing the company. <laughs> but obviously we would never do that. Don't ever do that. Um, <laughs> but we just made it as a joke and then I did get hurt. Um, so what are the odds, right? Like, so, um, <laughs> yeah, that happened. And, um, yeah, that was fun. And I'm okay. I clean it every day. If you ever get, like, a wound anywhere, clean it immediately. Don't even matter. Like, clean it with whatever you have nearby. Like, water, soap, um, you know, like, hydrogen peroxide is a really good one. Um, it, you have, like, hydrogen... Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> 
you have hydrogen peroxide in a bottle you just spray it and it if it foams up that's it's cleaning it right so that's also a really good thing to have um but yeah so I'm okay I'm just cleaning it cleaning it every day and um I went back to work right after and my friend was like why are you still here go home and I'm like no I need the bag I need money like this week I only I'm off like one day but that's okay because we're getting bank and then I have to work a double shift on the 23rd which is like 11 to 9 15 so I'm gonna get real bank there too girl so it's good we're good I'm just gonna have to like <laughs> grind to get a video up for Friday but that's good we're fine we're fine it's fine I'm happy I'm good <laughs> It's like a cry for help. I'm fine. <laughs> no, I'm good. I swear. But, um, but yeah, you can see I'm like building this like entire castle and I have lore behind it too. It is up on the gallery now. So if you want to go see it, if you want to go download it, it is there. Everything, is, my name and everything is in the description down below, girl. So don't you worry. I have that all there. And, um, yeah, I put like a little short story, but basically it's kind of like my other, um, kind of like magic mansion that I did a long time ago. So this place used to be run by witches and they had this giant tree in, in their courtyard, which was kind of like a portal to this magic realm filled with werewolves and fairies and, you know, all the witches and all the most like amazing creatures ever. And, you know, they had this place and werewolves were allowed to come back and forth because they were kind of like connected to together. And so, you know, every occult never enjoyed the vampires. Every vampire they've had, it's just been, it's just been really bad, bad blood. And, um, you know, every time they show up, it's just, it's just really bad and people get hurt. People, you know, never you know, they never come back from it, you know, it's always a war. And so there was a very, very strong warlock that was with their family and they protected this ground. And one day the vampires kind of came together and just like the other plays, they kind of just wiped everyone out. And they didn't even like werewolves. They were afraid of them because the werewolves can actually kill vampires their bite is very toxic and so the vampires decided to you know chop down their magical tree that was a portal from you know this realm to another so you can see in the courtyard there is just like this giant chunk like trunk <laughs> Not chunk, trunk. You can see it right there. That was the giant trunk that was kind of like the magic portal for everyone. And the vampires are like, no, we run this ground now. Nobody's allowed. Vampires only. And um, yeah, so you can see there is a lot of lore around like the entire building. You can see punch marks on the doors. You can see like the vampires trying to get in and the werewolves trying to get them. And like, say they lock the door and the vampire or or the werewolves were punching the the door to try and get in there's scratch marks everywhere there's a bunch of realm of magic objects from the werewolves and the witches I had a brain fart there that was like where what's the word after that wolves got it um <laughs> so you can see there is a lot of past you know trauma that's been going on in this house um or i guess castle and there is a lot of relics so a lot of the vampires think it's kind of fun to keep around some of the the objects that used to be around in this castle because they like to show like this is where we came from, this is what we did, and this is our town now. And sometimes they didn't even want to move anything because they were just too lazy. They, <laughs> they, they took over a whole castle, but they're just too lazy to move a couch, you know? So <laughs> I get it. I relate to it. It's fine. Now I think the messed up part is, is that they're not even finished. Like they want to wipe out the entire, like the entire population of wizards and, 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 and werewolves and everything like that. So yeah, 
yes, they keep around some of their potions, they keep around a lot of their broomsticks because they're hoping maybe somebody will come back to come and take them and then they can just wipe them out again. And a lot of their potions and stuff, they're trying to, like, they're like, they're like scientists, like they're just trying to figure out how they do everything even though they're not magic, they don't understand. But they're like, no, 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 we can, we can figure this out, you guys. Like, we can use their magic, make it better, and use it against them, and then we can rule the world. And, you know, I think that's pretty, that's pretty messed up, you know? So, <laughs> and the rulers that first took over, because the... This, this happened a long time, girl. This is like 1300 BC, okay? And the vampires that took over and led their army, um, you know, those rulers kind of passed away except for Vlad because Vlad will always be just Vlad. And Vlad will stick around to the very end. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But two of the other, I guess, rulers who were in you know, in charge, because Vlad was, was their brother. Vlad was like the brother of the king. And so the the queen and the king, they they passed away because, you know, all of the, the wizards kind of came together and the werewolves and they just like focused on them and they were gone. And sadly, that's kind of what happened. So they have a lot of like their pictures around. They have the urn for the king. They just can't find the urn for the queen. So, you know, the urn is there for the king and he's kind of around the back and Vlad is, I would like to say he's sad, but I don't think he is because now he's a ruler. So now he has his picture up in like the main foyer. So it's just him. And honestly, I don't think he, uh, I think he just kind of put on a face, but I don't think he's sad. Sadly enough, I think that's, I think that's it. <laughs> and, um, I think that is very mean of him. And I can see through his colors. I don't think he has any remorse. So, yeah, this whole kingdom just has a story. It has a lore. I love making um, occult lore stuff like this. And if you're interested in this kind of stuff, I do have a bunch of, like, I, I made, like, a werewolf just a pure werewolf castle so i will actually link that down below if you want to go see that and then i also have a magic manor which is mostly for like wizards kind of in that place i think that place is more like i don't know i love the basement of that place that place is really sick i have like those like green kind of turquoise uh, candles that we got from the paranoia, paranormal, <laughs> from the paranormal kit, and I actually really love it. So if you guys want to go check that out too, I will have that in the description down below, girl, so don't you worry. And last night, I was actually starting to work on Twitch stuff, so if you want to go follow me on Twitch, I will probably post it somewhere at some point today, or I will also have it in the description. So if you want to go follow me on there, I want to do, I want to start streaming and I wanted to start um, doing things like this because when I was building this I was just streaming to my boyfriend and my friends so they could just like watch me as I'm building because a lot of them will just like sit and like they'll watch and they'll be like oh that's cool and then like they can do whatever but it's always there to watch and um so my boyfriend Alex he was like hey Jamie he's like why don't you just like stream build this like you know, you, even if there's nobody there, you still get kind of like your hours in. And I was like, yeah, that's true. Like I could stream. So, um, and I really want to stream. So I guess we can start there. But yeah, I'm starting to make like cute little like overlays and themes. And I want to make like cute little emotes because I can draw like I do realism portraits. So I'm, I'm kind of just like more do realism, but I want to make little cartoony like emotes and stuff. So I'm so excited. I want to do all that. But I'm just thinking like way ahead. I'm only at like, I'm almost five, five K. That's it. Like, I know that's like somebody be like, that's it. But like, I don't know, I feel like I want to do all this stuff when I'm like at 10k, so I have like, I have like an actual like audience, but 
I don't know. I might as well just start it sooner than later, right? So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Let me know if you have any suggestions. Or um, yeah, we're also in, we're almost in October. So if you guys have any spooky kind of stories, I'm going to be doing a whole spooky kind of building, um, builds at all for the whole week of Halloween. So it will be Halloween and every day there will be a new kind of haunted video and then on Halloween itself we are gonna kind of like I'm gonna grab all of the kind of spooky stories that you guys have sent me and I'm gonna kind of just you know we're gonna have a story time it's gonna be like gather around your iPhone children and let's talk about Let's talk about all the Halloweeny things that has happened to you. So if you don't have any spooky stories that you want to share, um, let me know in the comments down below or you can message me on my Instagram or Twitter or anything like that. So again, all my information will be anywhere that you can find it on my channel. <laughs> um, but we are starting to get to the very end of the build. You can see I kind of just put like um, a little bit of like beds everywhere. I made like a... <laughs> I mean, like a jail cell too, just for like where they used to keep, um, you know, the vampires or some the wizards or the werewolves. So I did that too. And also make sure to stick around for the, um, I guess like the cinematic video. <laughs> I guess at the very end and if you like this video maybe please consider like commenting and subscribing and i will see you all later bye guys <laughs>